The cogs of the government machine turn slowly, but long overdue, a genuine British genius is being recognised. Alan Turing, the man who broke the enemy's code in World War II, is the new face of the £50 note. Persecuted for his sexuality, he took his own life in 1954. The Bank of England is helping to right some historic wrongs. He faced an awful lot of prejudice because of his sexual orientation, and I think this is really important that we're putting uh, a gay man, but also a fantastic mathematician and scientist who achieved so much and celebrating his achievements on the £50 note. Of course, machines can't think as people do. Alan Turing has been immortalised in books and the movie The Imitation Game, but fact really does trump fiction. Bletchley Park, near Milton Keynes, used to be an official secret. It is now home to the National Museum of Computing. This place is as important as the Spitfire, as Churchill, as the Blitz Spirit. Without Bletchley Park, you don't end the war really early, and you don't get computers either. And Alan Turing was at the absolute heart of it. The German Enigma machine held the code. Once it was solved, the Allies could be one step ahead. Alan Turing's family say they are as proud of the banknote as he would be embarrassed by the whole fuss. And they're sure he would be surprised at the lack of diversity in 2021. We still see that women are massively underrepresented in computer science, that black and ethnic minority kids are massively underrepresented in STEM subjects at A-level. These are, these are things we need to work on. What the £50 note thing does for us, uh, particularly with its diversity message, is it enables us to focus on these problems and actually get to work on them. At the virtual launch event, one prominent campaigner for the Turing banknote said it's so symbolic. Much progress is still needed before we achieve the equal society we strive for, but by choosing this man as the figurehead, we are attesting to our belief that people should be judged by what they contribute to the world and the ideas they bring, and not anything else. The cogs have turned too slowly, but the society he helped to preserve has finally repaid the debt. Simon Weiger, 5 News.